Now at noon, we do have some sad news. Billionaire media mogul Sumner Redstone has died. The former executive chairman of CBS and Viacom was 97 years old. CBS 4's Jamie Yukas takes a look back at his life and his legacy. Sumner Redstone grew up in a Boston housing project, but went on to become a billionaire and one of the country's most powerful media moguls. I think I'm driven to succeed. An academic whiz, Redstone graduated from Harvard College in less than three years, then returned for a law degree. He joined his father's company, which ran a chain of drive-in movie theaters. By the early 80s, he had predicted the end of an era. I would say that by the end of the decade, the drive-in will be virtually extinct and actually a part of America's nostalgic past. Redstone built the company into one of the largest movie theater chains in the country and pioneered the trend of the multiplex. As he was building his business, Redstone suffered a brush with death. He survived a devastating fire at Boston's Copley Hotel by hanging from a third floor window. He suffered third degree burns and permanent damage to his hands. In 1987, he launched a hostile takeover of Viacom, which owned Showtime and MTV. It later merged with Paramount and the CBS Corporation, creating one of the world's most powerful media companies. In 2006, Redstone showed his medal in the very public firing of Tom Cruise, citing the actor's erratic behavior. I'm in love. After beating prostate cancer, Redstone turned more of his attention to philanthropy. In 2014, he teamed up with business tycoon Michael Milken to make an $80 million donation for fighting chronic disease. In 2016, Redstone stepped down as chairman of both CBS and Viacom. Months later, he fought off a legal challenge from a former girlfriend who wanted control over his health care. It was a long and turbulent life, but through it all, he described himself as a born optimist with a passion to win. Jamie Ukas, CBS News.